Hi everyone, welcome to Get Python Code. Today we will we will discuss week one quiz answer for Java computing using Python. So before I begin, just remember one thing: you will definitely get three to four scratch question in your final center exam. I am telling it from my six years of experience in solving these questions. Okay. So coming to question number one. Uh, it is asking whether this pixel, or rather we can call it as cat, will come back to its initial position. Uh, will it come back to its initial position if I run this block of codes? Okay, and you can notice the initial position of this cat. It is x is zero, y is zero, and direction is ninety. And if I run this block of code, it will again come back to this position, which is x zero, y zero, and direction ninety. So let us run and check. So executed is moving right, and then it is going down, and then going left and going up, and then you can see x zero, y zero, and direction is still ninety, means it is coming back to its initial position. So that is why this will be true. Going to question number two, as pixel follows the instruction from the mysterious scroll, she traces out a specific shape on the ground, means as it is moving, it is drawing a path in this window. So it is as Asking whether uh, which shape it will draw. Okay, so if you follow it, if you follow it uh, carefully, then you will find that it will form a square. Okay, so if I run this, then you will see it is going right and then rotating, then going down, and then rotating right and then rotating then up. So you can see it is forming shape like this, which is a square. Okay, so mark a square as an answer for question number two. Going to question number three. So as it is following a path, so we what will be the area of that path? So if you see this block of code carefully, you will found that it is moving for hundred steps. Okay, hundred steps are everywhere means side of the path is hundred. So since you have side as hundred, means the area of square is hundred into hundred means side is square. So which is hundred into hundred, which is ten thousand. So ten thousand will be the answer for question number three. And before going to the next question, just let me make one more thing clear. All answers shown here are correct according to me. But then also, if there is any change in answer, I will try my best to inform you through my Telegram channel or YouTube channel or in this video description. Video description. So please make sure to see the final answer on the last submission date. Okay. Going to question number four. Suppose pixel had. Turned 120 degrees instead of 90. So if this is a block of code, and if I change this 90 to 120 degree, then what will be the case? It is asking. So which shape now it will form? So first thing you can notice one thing. There is one common thing between uh, in these options. Rectangle. It is a closed shape. Means if it will start from here, then it will end at the same place. Hexagon. It is also a closed shape. If it will start from here, then It has to come back to the same position, and regular polygon. It is also a closed figure, so it will start from here, then it has to come back. But an open figure, you can see one odd option. So if I run this block of code after modification to 120 degrees, you will find it will not come back to its initial position. Means there is some gap. Means it is an open figure. If you see, it was 0090. Now you will see it is not 00. 90 it is zero is this y zero is matching but this x and direction has been changed means it is not in initial position so that is why this figure is broken means it is forming an open figure going to question number 5 several students at scratch coding club try to recreate means they are just trying to recreate this original diagram in a different way so that it will just follow the same path okay so here how that code should be modified so that it can follow that same square path okay so in question number 5 for following that same square path we have to follow this block of code let me just make that initial position again x 0 y is again 0 and direction is again 90 okay now it is back to its initial position and again it will, you will see that same square pattern is formed Which they wanted to form in question number five. So if I run this, right, rotate, then down, 
rotate then left and then up means same pattern has been followed in option number 3 so mark option 3 as an answer for question number 5 going to question number 6 6 6 6 yes this one so you can see this diagram it is matching with this one so if pixel follows a new set of instructions written so if it is if it follows this direction means this code then will it return to the same spot let us see see if we run it is coming back very quickly okay you can see it is coming back so yes it will come back so mark yes as the answer for question number six going to question number seven in the new scenario from the previous question what shape would pixel trace as it follows the updated instruction so which shape it is forming it is forming a hexagon shape as you can remember in hexagon we have 60 degrees rotation okay so you can see 60 degree angle means you can see that 60 degrees there and this 50 is repeated six times in hexagon we have six sides so that is why it is repeated six times and we have six 60 degree angle which is also present here so that is why it is a hexagon shape so for question number seven answer will be hexagon going to question number eight so you can see this is the diagram i followed initial position should be x y zero and direction 90 it is followed here already now what will be the total distance traveled by the man total distance means you just sum up these moves okay move 15 plus 15 which is 30 then again 10 30 plus 10 40 then again 10 means 50 so total distance is 50 units question number eight going to question number one what will the displacement let me show you so let me run this code once okay so you can see initial position was 0 0 now it is minus 5 and then 25 okay minus 5 25 so let me show you the calculation initially is what it was x1 y1 was 0 now it is minus 5 25 you can see from here as well minus 5 25 so if you calculate you will get answer as 25.5 which is the answer for question number 9 going to question number sorry going to question number 10 in which direction is the man from the initial position so let us bring this cat back to its initial position again and then we will run this block of code again to find out which direction it will go so let me show where your south west will go so this is your just follow my mouse pointer very clearly okay so this is your north this is your south and this will be your south west and this will be your south east if you assume this as center so north south west and then this will be south east so south west will be this corner okay so if this cat tries to come towards this corner okay so this will be southwest so i am running this code so you can see it is trying to come closer to this if i again run this it is trying to come closer to this if i again run this it is trying to come closer to this you can also validate it from x y positions okay so it is going towards southwest coming to question number 11 what will be the position of man after second move so after second move let me just bring the cat again to x0 y0 and direction 90 so it is here again now if we for second move after second move okay so here this will capture the first move and this will capture the second move and let us see where will be the coordinates you just have to notice x y if I run this, x is 15, y is 15, means this is the answer, minus 15, minus 15, for 11. Going to question number 12, how many turns will did the man make and how many of them were to the left? Okay, so you can see turn 1, 90 degree, turn to 90 degree in clockwise means right, turn to turn number 3, left, anti-clockwise, turn number 4, anti-clockwise, means to right, to left, you can just follow the icons it is going towards right and these are going towards left so total four turn and two left for question number 12 going to question number 13 okay so if we have this block of code let me bring that block of code here so you can see it is here you can read in your time you can read this description in your time now let, let me just move it quickly what are the first two values placed in the sequence in the variable so you just have to tell the initial value of x1 and x2 
so x1 is 0 you can see clearly just taken from here only both are same x2 is 1 you can see here x1 0 x2 1 so option b for question number 13 going to question number 14 how many times does the repeat loop run so it is running for five times the same hint is given in the above description okay so you can see so it is telling coder wants to run whatever it is given so let me just go back to the point let us scratch update the two variables five times this five times is five for the loop because the loop is set to run four minus x plus one you can see repeat four minus x plus one where x value is zero means four minus zero plus one which is five so it is running for five times so mark five as an answer for question number 14 as you can see from here as well and this x value is 0 going to question number 15 which operation is performed to obtain y inside the loop so in order to get y you can see only y present here is this one in order to get this it is doing square of x1 plus x square of x2 so this one mark option b for question number 15 what is the value of x2 after first pass through loop means if the loop will run only for once then what should be the value of x2 you can see first x2 is here then here it is updated to y which is calculated here see if i show here x1 is 0 initially x2 is 1 initially you can check from this diagram 0 1 and now y value is x square plus x1 square plus x2 square which is here now if, if i calculate this it will again come as y so y value is 1 and the same y value is assigned to x means 1. So x1 is 1. Why is the assignment what why is the assignment set x1 to x2 necessary? Okay, so why it is needed to set x1 to x2? Okay. So the thing is that if you see it keeps the two term window sliding forward means uh, it is like uh, each time it is trying to exchange the values between x1 and x2 so initially x1 was 0 x2 was 1 and now for after first loop runs x1 value will be taken from x2 uh, means x2 value will take the new y value and it will give that x value to y so that is why x1 x2 assignment is necessary you can see x1 is taking the value of x2 which is this one 1 and x2 is taking the new value of y2 so each time they will exchange the, their values so that is why it is needed going to question number 18 after the loop finishes which variable value is spoken by split you can see it is telling say x2 means x2 will be spoken going to question number 19 Control loop structure it is very clear. It is loop loop. You can see this repeat block of statement. So loop means iteration. So iteration will be answer for 19. Which line makes the algorithm makes the algorithm straight changing rather than read only? So everything is changed here in this y. Okay, uh, in this uh, x2, x1 to x2. Okay, you can see the value of x1 is exchanged with the value of x2 means the state of x1 is changed to x2 okay so here it is a straight uh, state changing x1 is taking the place of state uh, x2 means state has been changed here suppose the loop were changed to run one time instead of five means like this what is the value of x2 for the first pass means first run so in the first run we calculated the value was coming as 1 so same 1 will be assigned here so this value will be given here first pass means first run so this is the result of first one x2 here means 1 now going to the next question 22 what broad programming concept does this script illustrate means numerical iterates and you can see numbers are being changed and along with we have iterations so we can call it numerical iterations going to question number 23 we have another image for 23 just copied from question 
okay so this is the 23 question number and you can see what is the initial value of current and previous when the program starts so you can see current is zero previous is also zero so both zero what does the changed flag variable present in the code so you can see whether the value changed okay so for 24 <coughs> changed flag variable let us look for this variable set change flag is here zero and you can see we are changing the value of changed flag okay it is being set to one or zero and it is based on whether current is matching to previous or not so as we are changing the position of current as it is picking any random value from one to five so as we are changing the value of current so we are matching the value current value with the previous value and that result is stored in flag so flag is just maintaining a track whether this current is matching to previous or not so that is why the flag variable represents whether value has been changed or not because flag is changed based on that output of this condition okay so whether the value changed will be answer for question number 24 going to question number 25 what is the rule of previous variable so you can see this previous variable is just storing the current variable and it stores the value from last iteration so this should be the answer because as previous is holding the current variable so that it will be updated every time and it will just try to store the previous variable it is clear from this code what kind of variable is change flag i already discussed change flag is a flag variable it is just like a flag which will tell whether value has been changed or not if it is changed then the value of change flag is one otherwise it is zero what is the purpose of setting previous to current at the end of the loop we are setting previous to current at the end of the loop so that we can maintain a track of previous and current value and we can do comparison based on it which we have done here so that should be the answer here option b for question number 27 for 28 how many times repeat loop run you can see it is running for 10 times so 10 will be answer for 28 for 29 which block is used to simulate a simulate a changing value set so the answer is set current to pick random 1 to 5 you can see if we notice this block set current to pick random 1 to 5 so this pick random block will do what it will just pick any random number between 1 to 5 ok so that is why this is the block for changing and after picking that random value you can see it is assigned to current so that is why this will be the answer going to question number 30 when does the spirit say same value same value when it will say let us uh, check the condition so so you can see spirit will say same value when current flag is zero and when this current flag is zero when uh, this condition is matching is if not current equal to previous so that is why if current equals previous okay so i hope you liked my answers i worked for three hours to gather all answers for you thanks a lot for watching this video see you in the next video bye